Hi, this is Autodesk Revit Architectural course, elementary course, and we're going to have Unit 3, Lecture 4 today, which is our last uh, modeling lecture in its uh, fourth part. And uh, in today's lecture, we're going to talk about the curtain wall system. And in it, we're going to have the idea of the, concept, or the concept of the curtain wall system, types of the curtain wall system, whether they are standard, exterior glazing, or storefront, uh, how we can create it, whether by wall or by face, and the curtain wall system component, which is curtain grid, mullion, and panels. And then uh, what, what, is, what type of grid layouts we can create, whether they are fixed as a distance, number, maximum space, or minimum space, and then we have, see how we can change a uh, fixed system uh, into a custom wall and into a custom curtain wall. And then we can have uh, some examples on all those. Uh, we're going to use the same example that we had recently at the end. Probably I will separate that in, uh, in a different uh, video. Let's see the length of uh, this video first. So if I go and if I go to uh, Revit, that's, uh, for example, a good, that's a good example for a curtain wall system. And you can see uh, it's very nice and it's very powerful method of uh, wall modeling. And it's usually used in storefront, malls, and it's also used in hospitals. It isn't carrying any load usually, basically made of... Uh, uh, as you can see, panels of glass, glass panels, and the mullion that carry them. And they usually also they can find the grids, and you might need a couple of tags here. See the tab here? This one, the grid that actually create this division. We're going to talk about the main three component. Uh, basically, it's, uh, it's again, as I said, that it's not load bearing wall system and it's uh, it's really nice to get a full view you can use that in living room for example uh, actually lots of flats using that in the living room uh, especially to get full light system in hospitals also to create a good connectivity between the corridors and the outside green area okay let's uh, let's go and do that so i'm gonna close that file and i'm gonna start up a new revit file So, in the east elevation, making sure that they are 4000 as a height. And then I can go to wall and select wall here. And that's the first type of uh, curtain wall system which uh, is based on a wall selection. Uh, because we have basically two types. We have a wall that actually can be created based on a face like this case which is uh, you have to create a conceptual mass and then you select the conceptual mass and apply the curtain wall system to any space or face or you want and that's an advanced method and we're going to talk about it when we start up next lecture with the with the with the conceptual design system and so that's the first method which is by face and the second method that you can create a curtain wall system is to go by wall like here and if you drop that uh, property selector that's our normal walls and here Revit provided three default curtain wall systems so the first one which is here standard one and the exterior glazing in the storefront so those three uh, let's let's have a look and we introduce ourselves to it so I'm going to this one the standard one and zooming in and just start up as a normal wall with a start point and then end up or move your hand and let's go for, for example 8000 as you can see it's just uh, hitting escape after that see it's, uh, it's just a piece of glass really big piece of glass and you can use that in, uh, in any type of uh, mall or storefront system and also in the front of any uh, shopping center it's just a big piece of glass panel 
and then we can divide that and make any opening in it and make any pivot door something like that so if I go to east elevation I see also it's not following any height and it's unconnected so just to introduce yourself to the curtain wall system how they differ from the normal walls it's just like it's it's almost not like a normal wall here like also have a lower constant range because it's level one and it have a top constant range which uh, here and connected I can just change that into to the level two and hit apply or just wait a couple of seconds it's gonna do that automatically and as you can see uh, the only one difference it doesn't made of uh, the materials the structure material that you can see in a normal wall so if you remember when we go to a wall and we go with the type oops we go to a wall and then we are oh, right you know nice you, you can create wall in elevation you may see it's been turned off so remember when we go to a wall here and any type they either go non-material one or monolithic or uh, complex as we said in the previous you can see a Z structure here and those structure made a physical material well this guy is just based on uh, it's just based on the existence of uh, glass panels some volumes and and they are totally different as a material they are totally different material wise actually anyway so let's leave this aside that's the curtain wall system it's a glazing system sorry exterior glazing it's almost the same by the way so let's go 8000 in this system you might see it's already been divided into pieces see so it's the same as this glass panel but it's divided into a couple of pieces and there's grids here each fixed distance I think let's go to 3d and see it's more obvious see same glass panel but there is grids that divide see that's the grid which create like a joint and divide this into panels and same thing horizontally again I can select this guy and ask him to be concentrated to the second level and that might cause the upper or the horizontal division to be disappeared because the height gets less so you can see and when you increase this guy in length as such it keep dividing based on a fixed distance that you need and that's really lovely so if I reduce that less than 9 or something it's chopped out this one a little bit more I'm gonna chop out the last one you can change the setting and make this chopped piece divided for the beginning and the end or you can just keep it like that and here we go see you chop off the last one and so on so that's the exterior glazing let's go and go another try with the third method so we said we have standard curtain wall system and the exterior glazing and this is storefront which is the most powerful one Uh, again storefront I think I changed the type of this one while I'm working sorry let's undo yep so wall and storefront and then you draw this guy as you can see it's very similar to the previous one that has a glass panel because it had also grids as you can see that's the grids here and there is also a mullions horizontally and vertical one and there is also a glass panel so it's built up on the previous system so which is also pre uh, previously built on the on the on the standard one let's go to 3d and have a look a better look so this one look more advanced and look more mature and and it's actually used in a more like a heavy duty uh, less uh, shopping for example that's you're never gonna put too much mullions in a shopping center or in a mall uh, rather than this system it's not like a hospital more practical thing probably in a house for security or for uh, strength uh, I don't know so uh, you can tell the difference between the standard and this one which is uh, the exterior glazing and this guy which is storefront and again if you select this guy it's have the same property basically so if I top 
<clears throat> concentrate it to the level two, you're going to end up by having this result. East elevation, see nothing, so south. Yep, changing that to shaded, you can see here. And again, if we change that, they are parametric and they should follow the changes. And you see the division here appeared because the grid appeared and the division here also appeared for a different distance and uh, depend on the setting that this this one have. And I'm going to return that to 4000. And those are the three types. Those are the three types of curtain wall system that you can deal with each one and now we need to understand how it actually works it's a it's really really important thing so if I go and select this guy which is the basic standard one that doesn't have it's just a piece of glass panel it doesn't have it's actually like it doesn't have any division inside and it's basically depending on start point and end point like any wall and it also have a lower concentrain and a top concentrain. The lower concentrain is a must, while the top concentrain could be an optional and goes unconnected, or it goes be connected and concentrate to a upper level than this and so on. But in between, in the middle, nothing. Anyway, if you go to the architecture, you can find here curtain grid, which is not the normal architectural grid that we usually deal with. It's just a grid that we can use to divide the curtain wall system. So you will never find this, or you can, nor you can use that in anywhere else except the curtain wall system. And be careful with this categorization issue because everything that have the name curtain, curtain, it should be kept with a curtain system or a curtain wall system, like a curtain door, like a curtain window, and so on. So hit curtain grid, and you see as long as you hover out to this edge. It can tell you that it's going to create or split that by a grid. So anywhere you like, like this one. And then again, anywhere you like, like this one. Or here, wherever you like, and then create or just hit click. Each time you click, it creates a grid. And with the grid, it creates a, like a, this joint, which is separated this into a panel. See this one? It's here a panel. So it divides the whole thing. It divides the whole panel, the whole big one glass panel, into a smaller one based on the existence of other grids or not. And that is actually the third or the second component. So the first component that we had is a grid like this one. The second component for our curtain wall system is the panel, which is this which we can later on change into a solid or empty even if you want see whatever you want you can change it later on too so we call that panel the third architectural component for that is mullion so if I select mullion and I hit of course I'm, I have different profiles of mullion I can change them to round circle whatever you just select the grid that you just create or it's previously create and just you know it can add the mullion to it and it's really good and powerful tool to create a custom made curtain wall system that you want so if I hit undo three times and return to the space anytime you want to select anything for the grid probably it's easier just you can just like you hover above and just be patient you can find with that you can find it but with the panel it's really annoying and probably you cannot and I think you can't so you have to hit tab tab you know a couple of times until you manage to hover above and then you select anyway so get back to this grid click on it and this the dimension you can make them uh, anything you want let's say uh, 2000 or let's say uh, 1000 maybe and then remember always the first rule, the golden rule we talk about in Revit that when you want to move something, you have to select it and then make this 2000. Uh -huh, lots of PHs. 
see so that's it now I created an, uh, a panel here with the 1000 away and the height of it let's make it uh, 2400 for example see so we can control the grid the amount of grid we want I can make it like easier when I first time created by just being patient and doing such I keep dividing that each 500 mil and so that create an entire grid and I can just create one segment here like such see oops okay or I can make all except the pick which is technically this one except this see so I created all that except the one that I have to click again on it to accept it from this entire long one later on I can just come in and uh, add the mullions to the places that I want like like such creating the the system that I want and even when you create the mullion you can just select it and change the joint like this so this guy doesn't reach to the wall and you can just do this to make this an entire a complete uh, molly like like I'm doing so now which is really nice see so we have uh, here almost a uh, An entire piece of metal here that goes from the beginning of the wall to the end of it you see I'm a little bit annoying with hovering you can use tab easier for you whatever and I will leave the rest of that for you to fix now if I want now it's really obvious so what what the main component of the curtain wall system it's again the the grid the mullion and the panel and we experience ourselves a little bit with now let's uh, come here and I can hover above this and I can just hit uh, delete to get rid of that specific mullion and be careful because deleting mullions is not really easy and it's not the same to be specific if you compare the process of doing that with this standard system because you see you don't like the mullion here you can just select it and go delete and you see that this is the you can see the grid and the division between the panel I can select it and hit delete easy here where we use the, the, the storefront system see if you want to select it you're gonna see the pen preventing you from that so you have to unpin first and then delete so it's a different process because this is based on a constant train that make sure that this distance is fixed and it's, for example 1000 or so what's over so if in order to break that you have to be unpinning stuff then delete them and here unpin that guy and then you know you have to delete the agenda so it's really important to understand the difference between this this is based on uh, a constant rate or rule a parametric constant rate well this guy is a free 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 dude with you like just change whatever you want so it doesn't uh, force you to unpin anyway now I'll come to this guy see select it and I can change it into uh, an empty which is nothing you just open that guy or again have on tab I can just make it solid like that which is you know beautiful or again I can just add a door to it so if, let me see if I have a door and 99% I don't have a door here stored for me as a panel system uh, so I have to go to insert and from insert I have to go to load family and then in the metric system we go to door 
and make sure you select things that have again curtain walls in it all my students usually make this mistake all the people even me in the beginning i fall in this trap that when i design a normal wall the one with the brick for example and i want to ask to insert this door rivet will tell me it's not important not not possible and the other way around if i want to insert the door here i come and select this guy this guy is a normal door for a normal wall it doesn't fit here in a curtain wall system and the other way around if you are designing a standard brick or concrete wall don't use anything with a curtain so make sure if this is a curtain wall you must got a curtain wall system otherwise you're gonna get lots of warning messages and it will never happen that's really important for you my my dear student because you always fall in this trap this is a curtain wall system make sure your curtain wall or your curtain door system here mentioned see curtain so select this guy nothing gonna happen don't get sad it's okay you just load it from the library to the system <clears throat> i don't know what happened to my rabbit it jumps just jumped away away from me now nothing gonna happen don't freak out just tab and then select and then go here you can see now your door don't click on that just click on the the available slot here beneath it just select and you can see that it will change itself into a door anywhere you like you know any panel you like you can make it a door the same way select and then change into a door it's going to change the width of that door based on that i know it's ugly plus let's have this uh, threshold the lower one you should be removed so i'm just hitting end just to show you okay now let's try with the rest so i'm going to select this panel and i can make it solid okay i can select this guy and i can make it solid and same with this guy here I can just pick that mullion and then delete it pick that mullion and then delete it and I'm gonna select this you can hit add and remove for example to remove that guy and select that guy and add and remove to get rid of it see and then you come here and select it and then you just say I don't want it make it uh, open or I don't know I can add a uh, solid to it uh, even you can add in uh, a wall in it by the way and other storefront it's a really lovely thing let's keep it empty for example just like a hole here nothing in it so that's ugly now let's uh, fix it like this so this will be nice and neat continuous one like this see okay now you can uh, do the same thing and remove the, anything you like and design it the way you wish i can just select this one let's have another look here on this panel and let's change it for example into what into a storefront see and the storefront here i can edit type and what type of storefront we have maximum spacing let's change that into fixed distance and that's both and let's make them each 400 mil see and that's really nice and it divide the mullion the panel and, and add to it another curtain wall system inside so it's like nesting or uh, a curtain wall system inside a curtain wall system and I can just uh, rotate that to 45 degree for just the vertical grid and get that result and I can just go and add another 45 degree and add this result for both x and y to get like this and then you can later on jump and uh, you know you can select that guy and delete him ah you have to unpin him again nice because this is a, a fixed as we said and again tab unpin delete 
Yeah, just ignore that. And that's it. You can repeat that boring stuff a couple of times in order to get this. And look, he add another frame inside the frame, just like he did in the door. There's another frame here for the door. Don't mix between the door frame and the mullion. Same story goes for the mullion themselves, so you can select it and then change it. See? Change it. And so on. I'm changing that into uh, a round one. And so on like this. It's really nice to uh, practice this and see how they work or how it works actually. Now this is ugly. You have to change it anyway. So that's uh, that's about it for uh, the, a custom made curtain wall that based on a standard system that we have. So we picked an architecture and then when in the architecture we went uh, crazy in changing the standard one here. So that's it, but remember it's basically just a piece of glass in the beginning we created and it doesn't even have this division that it's, it's in this one. I'm not gonna talk about this, it's really easy and uh, it's really easy and uh, well illustrated here. So I'm gonna just uh, get rid of, I'm just getting rid of those. Actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of everything and start up uh, to explain Another example, I'll just uh, get rid of those and see. In, I already prepared one for you, so which one is that? This one. This is a storefront system, and in it, you might find uh, four types. So, if that's a storefront. You can find here fixed system or fixed distance actually. So this guy is based on giving the computer or giving Rivet a specific distance to follow. So from here to here we say 1000 and from the grid to the grid 1000 and so on. So just the first one it doesn't start from the grid. The center of the mullion. The rest is from the grid or the center line from the mullions, and same thing to the end. So the eight will be divided for eight segments, and the four of the height will be divided on a four segment, and so on. This system, which is numbered, now the constant train or the rule you give to Rivet to create this guy is based on. And fixed number so when you click here and then you click here whatever the distance they're gonna be three vertical and three horizontal might be useful for you when you don't know the length of the, the the wall you just need to add this between two columns you know you don't care and you don't want to get in loose time to divide this into three pieces you're gonna do that for you this is the most powerful that's useful when you know exactly that's really useful when you don't know exactly what the length of the wall uh, those two things are very powerful and common use this guy maximum spacing is also is also nice and important because sometimes you call your uh, your your builder and he gonna tell you or the supplier or the company that provide the glass for you especially which is the critical issue and they tell you that their glasses doesn't go for a length more than 1200 mil okay because it's not gonna sustain the itself and you know it's very thin glass for example so they tell you you don't go more than 1200 so when you click here and you click here rivet will divide that equally to make the condition that it's never past the 1200 that might be useful so it's maximum spacing system while the last one is the minimum spacing system which i didn't see almost anyone using it but anyway it's it's telling you that it doesn't go less than 1200 mil under any condition no matter how much you increase this or decrease it it's going to divide and calculate that for you exactly to make sure that it won't pass the 12 
it won't get less than 1200 anyway so that's really nice and the four types are really uh, are really useful to to understand probably the last one which is the the minimum spacing probably this one is uh, I didn't see much people who are actually using them but the first three are uh, really common use and you can really get uh, really get powerful using it anyway so let's uh, let's come here in a, a new file and let's practice that a little bit so I'm gonna store front that guy and 8000 okay so I zoom in let's go south select that wall and let's stop concentrating it to the to the level two so that's what we have now shaded here now if we shaded this guy and it's better for us to see the panel in bluish which is really nice anyway. so I'm gonna select this and make sure you're selecting the wall itself you know like uh, you see those rectangle handles and not selecting any grid door panel you go to edit type and don't don't change the standard just duplicate okay and let's go and make a uh, storefront dash fixed distance so let's see it's maximum spacing by fixed distance for the vertical horizontal I'm changing I'm gonna change that both for fixed so fixed by fixed and let's go 1000 by 1000 constant terrain rivet to make it 1000 millimeter for horizontal and vertical and when you hit ok it's gonna take some time and then it's gonna divide it for you as you can see that's a powerful tool and again if you hit di to dimension that you see this 1000 and so on while this guy to the end is 1000 and we say that again uh, we say that previously in the a couple of seconds ago that's a nice tool so when you select it it's eight and when you drag it a little bit like such you see you might need a di for the beginning to the end that's my line dimension he actually created a small piece here that is less than the 1000 he couldn't fix that in the constant range of course because he created all that for you except this little piece it won't it will be less than 1000 that makes sense but the rest are 1000 by 1000 if you go less than this less than 8 again it's gonna chop this one and delete the rest so that's that's cool for now that I think it's uh it's understood now let's go level one again let's create another one again uh, see now he added the the, the the new system we created here another storefront and uh, let me start up by making it concentrate to the top level uh, let's go here and have another 8000 okay and then we go to the south elevation same one same same one that we created just a couple of minutes ago select it edit duplicate and the storefront and this time i'm gonna go uh, distance uh sorry it's uh number now that's powerful fix number and then fix number see disappeared here that's really for a good reason hit ok now this guy is now based on a fixed number of mullions horizontally and vertically and you can find them here so only one here and one two three four five in the vertical ones powerful tool especially when you are you have a column here and a column here in a hospital and you want just to drag a line between them and you want them you want the vertical line to be five you know you, you don't bother by knowing or caring how to come to divide that manually if you reduce that later on he can divide it to five if you increase that more he gonna keep that five you know that's a really powerful tool for you 
we're going to come on here later and make it uh, divide it into two or you can divide that into six or whatever number you like and you find that based on the we find that based on instance level and what i mean by that is it isn't fine when you select this guy you go to edit type it's not a, a it not a type parameter because it's fixed here and that's uh, allow you to create more than one storefront based on the ability to select this guy and then come to it and make it two by two that's important to understand this is this parameter has been made for a good reason under a uh, under an instance level so you when you can create this is a storefront system which is based on a number system that's a family we created here and this this is the same family they are the same family but this family its ability to change the number it isn't refer or it isn't tacked to the father of the family which is this one which is make them both the same no it's based on instance so an instance level or this is an instance parameter so you, you can they are all numbered system but this it's allow you to change this the way you like and allow you to make that different from it while this guy no if you see this is fixed uh, distance system and you see the grayed out here that means this is not an instance parameter it's all based on the type parameter and we decided even from here so if I click and copy this and push it here anytime I want to change this which is a fixed I will not be able to change it from here I have to go to the type system and if I make this 2000 and 2000 and hit OK see it's in the type and it both affect all the family member of that family that we have in here so make a good clear understanding between both two methods now we have uh, wished we can have plenty of time explaining this when we start up the family part of this course anyway back to our subject so let me just undo 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 yeah undo 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 again so that's the fixed uh, that's the fixed distance that the fixed number now we can go ahead stretch that a little bit all right now level one again and wall again see those two new types storefront another 8000 why the number 8000 no one knows <laughs> anyway so come here south and same storefront system we didn't specify it yet you can just hit it hit it type and you see that's our maximum spacing let's go maximum spacing that's maximum spacing so let me say i don't want it to be more than 1500 both And again it's a uh, obviously it's a type because you are changing them here hit ok and if you notice that I made a mistake and I changed the default value that you shouldn't do that by the way it's very wrong so just uh, underscore and it makes max 1500 and that's that's it you should create uh, things by duplicating them now let's see how much it goes so from here to here okay now here to here and so on see beautiful doesn't touch the 1500 now you want to change the length of the overall wall like this see he create he change everything he want he add more division divide them equally but never past 1300 reduce that okay never pass this number a little bit more no a little bit less never pass 1500 you see that's how lovely it is you can touch 1500 a little more you see he redivide and change the whole thing not to pass that which is really powerful and a good method again 
Uh, let's go to level one again. Yep, storefront. And I'm gonna create a wall here. As I promised you, another 8,000. And now I'm gonna go to the south elevation. That's the last method. So again, edit type, duplicate, and I'm gonna make it minimum system. Let's go minimum 1,200 this time. And I'm gonna pick a minimum. I'm gonna pick a minimum here. And it's 1200 by 1200. See, now I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna add the dimension. It doesn't go less than 1200. So let's change this. See, and that's always stay more than 1200 so that's really nice so minimum maximum and the fixed number and the fixed distance which is really uh, really uh, really a good method so uh, we have now seen lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of things about this cotton wall system we know that there are types the three types we knew that we can create that by a wall or by a face we knew that it can be uh, made, or actually it's been made of a grid here, a curtain wall system. And it can be made of a mullion, and it's also made of a panel. So those three components that they are actually made of. And we see, we saw not that uh, the storefront system has to be made of a fixed number, maximum spacing and minimum spacing. And we saw how to change a fixed system into a curtain wall system. Uh, I will stop this video now and I don't want it to be more than like uh, 40 or 45 minutes uh, for technical reason again for the video recording thing and I'm gonna upload very soon an example for you which is the house that we have been working on in this semester uh, thank you very much and I wish that you find